Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how to level sync your heroes so that when you get a new hero, they're the same level as your current hero. So in this first event, uh, this is the easiest and simple, most simplest way to do it, and I recommend doing it this way, but I'll show you a couple of alternative methods of finding the, the number. So this event just says select your party member and it's going to show different party members. Um, but here's how you would, uh, this code right here is what you'd put into when you, you uh, acquire a new hero. So the first thing you're going to have to do is control a variable and you're going to create a new variable and call that variable um, the character's name and then comma s level and then set it to uh, the game data. So how you would do that is you go to game data and then you select right here you go to actor select that actor and then select level and then it's going to store that character's level in a variable all you're doing is setting it to that number and then um, because of this next uh, thing uh, change party member command which let me show you where it's at um, change party member level change level it doesn't have a set operand so it only has an increase and decrease. That means we're going to have to uh, add a number to, to uh, the new player's level. So because of that, you want to set all of your characters' uh, starting levels, initial levels, to 1. So set them all to 1, and then this should work fine. So what you're going to do is um, subtract 1 from that control variable. So underneath that first variable that we created and we set it to game data, you, you control that same variable and you subtract one. Uh, then you're going to change party members and you're going to add um, that party member to your party uh, and initialize them so that they're at level one. Uh, then you're going to um, change that party's, uh, change party's level. And uh, when you do this, you're going to select uh, a variable as the operation. So you're going to increase and then the operand is uh, the variable of your party leader's level and you set it to increase and you probably don't want to show a uh, level up because if your uh, main uh, character is like level 40 or something you're going to have a bunch of spam so you would uncheck that but you'll have to do one more thing you'll have to do um, a recover all um, because when the when you get the character it's going to have like level 1 HP and MP and as it levels up the max HP and MP are going to increase but that won't level that won't uh, heal them so it'll look like they've taken a bunch of damage so you just go um, recover all and select that party member and that's the easiest way to do it so there's another way you can do it you can uh, have it based off like an average of your current party members so you would do the same thing but the more people more party members you have the more convoluted doing it this way becomes so you have to create a, a variable for each one of the party members and then you have to create a variable for their party uh, party's average and then you just basically add all of the levels of your party in this case I uh, would have two members and then I would divide that by two and still subtract that one because the game uh, when you, if you have like an odd number it's gonna round it uh, it's gonna round it off so you might get one level below or one level higher so that's the thing about doing it this way then you, you do the same thing for that Ch uh, change party members add the party member change their level by the variable of party average level this time and then you would recover all so you can see how I would do it with three party members. Getting my fourth party member, I would create another variable and add all of those to party level average, divide that number by, by three and subtract two. And uh, even with this method, the party member may be one level higher than uh, the party. So there's, a th there's another way. There's a, I guess it's the third way to do it, is you can use um, some code, some JavaScript to find the highest value of all your party members <clears throat> and then set your uh, set your uh, new party member to that level so basically you're going to use uh, math.max so at the beginning of your script you're going to do variable x equals zero as semicolon inline that's going to be um, declaring a variable a temporary local variable that this is only used in this script so that we're going to say that x is equal to math.max and then we're going to type in parentheses dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value uh, parentheses this number is going to be the the variable that you specified for the first actor and you would put a comma and repeat this copy paste that changing the numbers for every variable 
that um, is storing a party member's level. And then at the end of that, you would close it off with an additional parenthesis to end this one and then an end line. And then you would set game variables. Uh, this last variable number would be the average one. Or in this case, you would create a different one and call it highest value. And then you, um, you do a comma and then you type in X and then uh, uh, in the parentheses and in line. So what this is going to do is going to return um, the value of 154 is going to be set to the highest party member level. So if you have somebody's level 1, somebody's level 17, somebody's level 55, it's going to return the, that this uh, variable is going to be set to 55. So it's kind of complicated, but um, it, that's one way to do it if you want to really get specific with it. But once again, the easiest and uh, cleanest way to do it would be just this simple control variables, uh, subtract one from that variable, uh, add the party member, and then set that party member to that uh, add uh, change level and add that variable to the level and then recover. So real simple, five lines is all you need to, to level sync. But uh, let me show you this in action before I let you go. So we have Mia at level five, and if we have Stormy join, join she's at level five, and Drifty will join at level five. But if we get um, Zatara, will he be level five? Yeah, he will. But if I were to go level six, I think it would still work, but at level seven, it might be where uh, Zatara ends up at level eight because of that third, third system. But let's just uh, show you that it works. You saw in the database they were all set to level 1, so you know that it's somewhat working. But now we have Mia's level 8, and if we have Stormy join, she's also level 8. We have Drifty work, he's level 8, and this one might be 9, might be level 8. Yep, level 9. So basically that first method is, is probably the best method because then they would all be 8. But um, it's up to you how you want to do it. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Continue to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you want more content like this. You guys are awesome, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.